hi all uh, welcome back to my channel so today uh, i'm gonna explain how to integrate uh, service now ticketing platform with cyberarc for uh, ticketing validation uh, for access so the aim of this uh, inti uh, the integration is to ensure that users have a valid ticket uh, before accessing any account from the cyber so without wasting any time so let's go into uh, integration part so now i am in um, the service now developer instance so in here we need just need to go to a uh, users first and uh, we need to create a new service account so that our cyber will use it to access the uh, call the service now rest api to get the ticket details okay so i'm creating an service account so check this web service access only so the reason for checking this is that so this account should not have the uh, interactive access that is accessing through web so so it either this account will be used only by the uh, pw play to call the rest api to get the ticket details so there is no use of giving it an interactive access so that uh, that's why i have checked web service access only okay so once I click it so now what I need to do is I need to search it go here and assign some roles to it so click on edit and assign SN INC read CHG change read so as you know currently cyber only supports two ticket types one is change and incident so that's why i have given the incident read and change read access so once this is done uh, we need to onboard this account to cyber so yeah so let's onboard that account to cyber so click on add account and so on onboard it to pwa ticketing system save okay so this is the username in address you can you should give the service now developer instance url so it's basically url of the service now address address of the service now and set the password for it generate copy save password and add okay so the account is added so once the service account is added successfully so next part is the uh, integration part so go to administration configuration options and go to ticketing system service now ticketing parameters in the system configuration uh, you need to enter uh, in the system url within the system url you need to enter the service now uh, url okay so the next uh, is that uh, the, in the connection details you need to enter the object name and the save where the account is onboarded okay so this is the save and the object name i need to copy it i should have copied it but now i need to copy it now and go to the details so copy 
copy the object name copy the object name and come to configuration options connection details so I need to enter the object name here so I need to ensure no spaces are here so just apply it so what you did here just enter the connection details and the system con in, in the system configuration you enter the system URL so now the basic integration is completed so the next uh, step is that you need to enable the, uh, the sticketing validation at the platform level such that accounts onboarded to that platform will have the ticketing validation enabled so it is the platform so just go to UN expand UN workflows ticketing system and to ticketing system in the ticketing system you need to enable these two options enter ticketing info and validate ticket ticket number okay apply so the basic ticketing validation is completed now so we can uh, check whether our ticketing integration is working or not so let's click on kernel so here enter a random any digits and let's see whether it is able to validate uh, ticketing uh, ticket uh, ticket format say the ticket format is invalid so let us enter a valid ticket format and invalid ticket number okay so i'm entering random ticket number so it says now that the ticket ID doesn't exist. It means that in the service node, this ticket number is not valid. So let and uh, let us grab a uh, genuine ticket. Let's see. Insert incident. So here, let us see this incident. So this, let's see whether it is so I'm able to download the RDP file it means that the ticket number is valid okay let's do this for change as well So change let's see change it to so let's see what we can do is so let's, what we can do is Grab one change where is okay. So let's copy this change and click on connect. Let's so the ticket number is valid as well for the change as well. So now the basic configuration is completed. Let's go with advanced okay so now what we will do is we will validate the ticket state as well based on the ticket state as well, whether we can allow it or not we will decide okay let's uh, configure that so for configuring the ticket state uh, so again go to the configuration options
so here we will configure two things one is uh, enabling the ticket ticket state validation as well and uh, we will also uh, configure a bypass code with that bypass code we can bypass the ticketing validation okay in the expand the ticketing uh, system service now ticketing parameters and ticketing validation incident ticketing validation so validate incident ticket state uh, change it to s So expand others again. Validate ticketing. Load ticketing states. Load incident ticket states. New in progress. On hold assigned. So these are the only states which we want to allow for the incident. So here I will remove the new. Okay. I will only put it to in a progress on hold assigned. Okay. Apply. So in the change, expand the change, valid change ticket state to S. And expand the valid change ticket state and these are the allowed change ticket states. So what I want to do is, I will not allow the new ticket states. Okay guys, so let's apply it. The another thing which I asked is in the system configuration there is an option called fail safe bypass code okay the use of this option is that we can configure a bypass code with which we can bypass the ticketing validation for a user so this should not be shared with every user so there is there are instances where you need to bypass the ticketing validation so, so that you need to give this bypass code to the user and the user can enter this in the ticket number so that the ticketing validation is bypassed okay so this is the code i have configured so you can enter random what i want so i must be see what i can bypass ticket okay I'm entering it this for you. So apply. So this is completed now. So uh, so now it should not allow a new state incident and new state change, right? So let's create and uh, let's check uh, this change is new in new state. Let's see whether it will allow now or not. So you can see it clearly states that the ticket ID state is not allowed. So we can confirm that it is working fine. Okay, let's uh, use the bypass code to bypass the uh, ticketing system. Okay. So I can download the RTP file. It means that I can bypass the ticketing system. So let's check for the incident as well by by uh, by using invalid state uh, in, in the change what we will do is i will move it to some other state so implement state so what i can do is let's bring it to so implement state let's do that implement so update so what I can do is now it is an implement state let's see whether it can allow us or not so you can see that I can able to download the RTP file now it means that it is allowing me to uh, allowing me the change number which is in the implement state so this is how it works so it is uh, so we have configured the state validation as well ticket state validation so for uh, it will be true for the incident as well okay so it's same so basically uh, it will not allow the states which we haven't allowed so it will only allow the states which we allow in configuration options right so with this we are gonna end the session so i will uh, 
give all the configuration details in the github page so you can configure that so i yeah, hope you understood it and uh, you can test it as well so yeah this is how it works so currently cyber only supports a uh, two ticket thing types change and it's there so with this we'll wrap up this session so i'll be posting uh, on the new sessions on different different cyber technologies so until then goodbye and thank you